welcome back. I, uh, I'm going to make this quick video here to let you know that I'm still alive, to tell you uh, some of the things that have happened over the last little bit, and maybe show you some, just a little bit of something cool. I've only got my phone with me right now. Uh, it only makes, it's a subpar camera, but uh, we'll see if we can get this video done, huh? First, I guess I'll start with showing you where I'm at. I'm over here. Ooh, better make sure I don't fall into the water. I'm over here on the very edge of my property, um, right in one of the biggest wetland areas here on the property. And I'm here looking around because it is, it's been raining quite a bit and the water has been sheeting over the top of the wetland. So there's so much water that it's, it's filled up and sheeted across. It's starting to recede now, but um, I was really intrigued by everything and I, I was coming out and looking around and it's really cool. And uh, the other cool thing, I'm standing right next to a fairly large tree. Uh, it's not going to be easy to show you, but uh, the tree is fairly large and the, the beaver, I'll put my hand here, have been <laughs> gnawing on this this tall branch and again over here you can see it's just amazing the amount of work they go through to tip over some <laughs> some large large trees uh let's see if i can pan across here so these large branches they're intending to tip over and block the flow of water and maybe maybe back up the water to create a pond back here. Um, this is all a big assumption, <laughs> right? Um, yeah, I don't know. It's just amazing to me. I, I think beaver are, are amazing and I enjoy watching them. Speaking of wetland area and so on. Oh, I'm distracted because I see and you'll never be able to see it. There's a sand crane, sand hill crane, I think, right over there. And it's walking really slow, so, uh, so it can hide from me. <laughs> You'd never be able to see it with my, my camera here. I'm so sorry. I wish I had my better camera. Um, anyway, uh, I've had a man from the con conservation district come out and go through some things here in this particular county they offer a free to me service uh, of course it's tax or taxpayer funded um, but it's a free to me service mm -hmm. for helping me out with uh, forestry plans and related so on so he's going to help me fix the culvert uh, or, you know, he's pointing me to different programs that'll help me fix that giant culvert that many of you have mentioned needs to be addressed. Uh, he's going to help me create a forestry plan to help create the healthiest forest I can out here uh, and, a, and a few other things. I'm pretty excited for that project. So that's going to be coming up in, at its own pace. Some of these things move a little slowly, but he's been out here and it's been pretty fun. Um, the other piece of information that has been taking up a lot of Audrey and my time, a lot of reason why we don't have any videos out, we're deciding that it's time to build the addition onto our home and I've been uh, working through the hoops to, to make that possible. Designing, uh, implementing the design, uh, working with the county, so on and so forth. And you know, the holidays have slowed me down. That's, that's the truth. I've also been making some of the final plans for my goat fencing. Uh, maybe I can get some of that fencing done so that I can have goats, maybe some pigs. But again, that's going to move a little slowly too. Um, many of you who've been following my channel have realized that I'm a slow mover and I, I think that's going to continue to be the truth. Um, anyway, it's good to see you all. Uh, it's good to get another video out and I hope this works for you guys and um, 
I really want to show you more in the future. Really hoping to get it exploring the homestead video out and giving give you guys an idea about what things look like.